Hello and welcome back for another video on Power Query. I'm going to show you how you can replace values in a column and depending on a condition, do a replacement. And if the condition is not met, do something else. Stay tuned. The data set that we're looking at is all kinds of restaurants and the data set contains a column that shows whether smoking is allowed. For the exercise here, we have learned that in the city of Tomolopus, if I pronounce it correctly, it's not allowed to be smoking anymore. So whereas it says yes sometimes, we're now going to want to see no everywhere. So to check that, the first check that one can do is of course the, just for the easiest step, show which of these uh, are going to be changed. So I could write if state equals to Molopus, then we're going to change it and else we're not going to change it just as a helper column condition true. So for each condition that is met here, we're going to want to change this column here and we're going to want to conditionally replace in a single step. We don't want any helper columns. This was simply to show you which items are going to change. Okay, so here's the magic. If we want to change the values in this column based on a condition, you can help yourself by first right clicking and pressing replace values. And we're just going to have uh, just a random value here. It doesn't quite matter. This is just going to prepare the formula for us. So the formula in the top is now added right here. To make things easy, I'm going to separate these in the several lines. So the first argument is a reference to the previous step. Then we have a second argument, which is the value that will be replaced. The third argument will be the value that it will be replaced by and the rest we will put here. All right. So the real magic happens if we're changing this formula here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to say is that as a first argument here, we're simply going to reference this, the, the column that's called smoking allowed. So we write each and then you write the column name, which has smoking underscore allowed. And that means that each of the values here now zoom out, each of the values is now replaced by a B each smoking allowed. Now we want to have our condition here at, at the B part. Now, the good thing is we already wrote this, but we can write this from scratch if you like. So I'm going to zoom in again. And we're going to change the second argument by a condition that will be checked. And depending on the condition, uh, a number might be changed or, or some text. So we could write each if the state, which is a different column, equals the molipus, then I want you to replace it with the word no, because because latest, uh, lately we learned that there's no smoking allowed here. And if that's not the case, we just return the value that was already in the smoking allowed column. That's all there is. So all of the smoking allowed values will be replaced and only the lines that are from the state to Molopus will be replaced to no and otherwise the other value will be returned. So we zoom out and see the result. You see now that the condition is true with these ones and all of these conditions where it was true now return no. Whereas before we actually had a few yeses here. And the good thing is this helper column helped us show which will be replaced when we click, but you can actually re replace that helper column now and just remove it. So in a single step here, you have now replaced the values that you wanted based on the condition. And you can add as many conditions as you want here. Now that's a pretty neat trick, isn't it? So you can decide yourself which of the values you want to replace in a column and you can write your own condition. And if the condition isn't true, you simply return what was already there. And all of that without having to add a separate column, delete the old one, rename the new one, because those are all just extra steps. So help yourself. And if this brought you any value, I'd appreciate a like. It's really helpful for my channel. And subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Okay, and with that, this is the end of the video. I'll see you next time.